gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, welcome to the Tuna Commander J.R. Kubuka Chesson Talk Show. Today is Thursday the 13th, not Friday, the 13th, 2021. We woke up this morning, it's in the low 30s in Providence, Rhode Island here. We get news that Warwick, Rhode Island is building a new skating ring, a 12-foot skating ring. It's going to be used all year round, not only for skating, for other purposes too. But I know the people of Warwick must be delighted at this news. They don't have to come to Providence no more to skate. They're going to have their own skating ring. So, that's the most important thing for the news this morning in my state, except that President Biden is sending help to our hospitals in the area. We know that we have shortages. We need healthcare workers. We need teachers. We need all these people. So as our hospitals are falling back with shortages, shortages we are thankful that the president is sending us help in Rhode Island, okay? Let's get into my topic for this morning. My topics are, one, because of the lawsuit, Ben and I, Euro versus ANC, Ellen Cummings, has the collaborating political parties, CPP, failed to Liberians on Budubon camp in Ghana. Three challenges of Liberia today. Let me take a break, sip my coffee, and we'll start my lessons. Liberians, Liberians across the globe yesterday watched as Ellie Cummings of the ANC, the standard bearer, appeared in court yesterday for his case, 
brought by Benin Ayuri of the ELP party for fraud and uh, forgery, wherever well, he's tampering with the documents and all of that. I mean, I told you all yesterday once this case is going on, it's political, highly political in nature, and there's no sense of real criminality attached to it. These people playing politics, fighting for power, have no allegiance to each other, have no consideration of each other's condition and situations. But this is what happened when political parties with no interest in each other or their goals come together just to win an election. Anything can happen. So here we are. The collaborating political parties of Liberia is in court because two of the party members are antagonistic toward each other. So we're in court now. Where will this lead us? There's no indication that the CPP has dissolved. Yes, some people in the All Liberian Party, one of the, the collaborating parties run by Ben and I, Yuri, has indicated its intention to withdraw but we know according to their agreement, they said nobody can break from a, a, a collaboration. If anybody leaves, if any political person leaves, they can leave where the party will stay. So if this is the agreement between them, they can't break away. That's cause for another lawsuit. So here we are now. ALP is disgruntled or not happy with what's happening with ANC leadership and the documentation for the party. So they went and sued. The chairman of the party right now, Joseph Borka, is silent. He has, is not saying anything. Probably he's waiting for the lawsuit to go through. But from all indication, we know that this collaboration cannot afford to dissolve. This collaboration cannot afford to break apart. So they gotta go and settle, listen to all the shenanigans, bullshit, and stupidity. And in the end, they will have to come to some serious concession, agreement, to either stay together or Dissolve, but I don't see. I really don't see how this group can dissolve. They need. They need each other, and as long as they need each other, there's a cause for them to stay together. So we're watching them, and I'm saying that as long as Borka remains silent, as long as Borka hasn't spoken, this coalition is not going to dissolve. So am I right or am I right? In the end, this is a political case. I don't see how the court can entertain institution, institution, instituting criminal punishment against anybody in this political matter. Because if there's any fraud, of forgery, it can't be on Eric Cummings alone. It can't be on the ANC alone. People were talking about Mo Ali, who were involved with going around with the documents, gathering signatures and all of that. What's his play in it? And he's not from the ANC, he's from the UP, but he's the Secretary General of the party. He took the documents to get signatures wherever he had to go. So all these things are coming to play into this case. This case will just be a mockery and a waste of our time, and we can't afford it. So we appeal to our people, man. 
Let's get our act together. We are wasting too much time behind this foolishness when we, when we should have, we should be concentrating on better things, on better interests of the Liberian people. But here we are behind this frivolous, useless lawsuit. That's not going anywhere. It's just about a yo, 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 and spending money. But here we are, and who to blame? I was watching class this morning, you were talking about people saying that he was responsible, uh, Nyomdi Kanga, uh, Dylan, uh, Borka, whether or not you were, you know, all these people. But all of them responsible. You can't leave one out. You know, they are all collaborating. And if the collaboration fails, something must have gone wrong with all of them. That they don't have a man or woman among them to say, hey guys, come on, let's bring this up together. Let, let's resolve this matter. Let's do what we gotta do. And that hasn't happened yet. So we we'll sit down and watch and see what will happen. But until then, our country is in a state of limo right now. We got a big opposition party can't get his act together to fight the ruling party. We got a president who has no work to do. He attends all the time they meet, sits all through the games. So that's an indication how bad and terrible our situation is in Liberia. And if we don't try to find some sense or make some sense out of all this mess that's going on and come to our senses so we can help our country, our people. We'll be on this thing forever. We'll be on it forever. And it doesn't benefit us, our country, our future, the future of our children, none. None, we're just in the same mess we've been in forever. And our country not getting any better. Look at the cleanup efforts that were going on, Mirabo. I don't know if it's still going on no more since they tried to put her in the court and all the shenanigans came on the street. So we don't know where we're going. Every day, some kind of new stupid shit come out. You know, that whether it doesn't help us, it doesn't advance our interests or our benefits or anything. But it leaves us in the same, same, same old threshold. You know, striving to survive, striving to get out of this mess we in. And the more we struggle, the more they seem to be pulling us down into it. But I still have hope. I still have hope. I have hope. I still have hope in my people's. So until that hope can materialize into something fruitful, I should sit and watch in the meantime. Sit and watch. Sit and watch. You know nothing you do. Sit and watch. Until our people come to our senses and say, look, enough is enough. Let's get our act together and fix our country. Have a good day on this issue. Let me take a break, take a cup of sip, and we'll move on to the next topic. As many of you already know, my birthday is this weekend. And to celebrate my birthday, my people in Budaburum camp, on the camp there, have decided to celebrate it with me, which I so wholeheartedly appreciate and I'm thankful for. We know that it, the plight of the people on Budaburum camp, these are Liberian refugees who were taken there during our civil war 
These people have been there for almost 20 years or more. And the conditions are terrible, man. Terrible. I mean, to be living in Ghana, which is one of the most advanced with African nations, and my people don't have lights and water, they can't go to school, they can't get jobs because they're immigrants. Why are they there? Why are they there? They need to come back home. But if you come at home, what's home for them? 40,000 or more, 4,000, sorry, not 40,000, 4,000 or more left 20 years ago to go there. Now the 11,000 with the children, the future have gone up with them. Now they, they're giving them status without jobs. They're going to they're threaten them to break down their camp in January. And nobody responding to their needs or issue. So somebody got to step to the planet and help these people. These are our people. Excuse me. In the stranded. And they need help. So they decided to celebrate my birthday this Saturday on two occasions. They're going to have something for the old people in the morning and for the young people in the afternoon. I, I will try to televise it to see if we can talk to them and see what's happening. But these people need help. They need financial help. They need spiritual help. They need social help and physical help. So, Is the ECOWAS going to abandon them in Ghana? We know that the Liberian people, the Liberian government was saying they got the money to help these people. But some of them got to bring these people back home. I want to see them go home and settle somewhere and have a good chance to live, at least a good shot at living. But when you're living somewhere and your passport, you got a passport that you got to use to get a job and the passport that you can't work, that's a problem. So let me call my people. I see how they go on with the planning and everything. And um, just talk with them for a while. I hope you all could attend the party. So you're welcome to attend the party. To try about it. You know, just a little smaller thing. One minute, please. You coming off? Daddy? You coming off? Hello, Daddy. Are you coming on? Okay, are you coming? Are you coming on the show? Okay, come on. When you come on, then we can see everything. You will show. I'm waiting for you. Well, he. I'm just waiting for him to come on so he can show us what he's been doing. And um, how the people in Budaboro camp are preparing for this event. I'm just waiting for him to pop up my screen. Bear with me. I'm very thankful for, the, for uh, to all of them for wanting to do this for me. And when to have this party for the little children especially, it's just a little token of appreciation to all of them and their children especially. So, please bear with me. Let me see what's holding him up.
it's hard for him to be on as I'm talking because it cost him a lot of money to do this. That's why he waits for me to come on and after a while he comes on. So the people in, on the camp there, they, they, are, they are 11,000. They have a lot of young kids that are not in school. I found these and results. They have a lot of young kids that are not in school and it's troubling. When you have parents not in school and they're having kids and the kids not in school. They have, the schools are there, but they don't have money to send the kids. So it's troubling. It's troubling. And somebody got to come to these people here. Somebody got to seek their interest and, and help them, seek to help them. But anyway, let me try one more time. If not, I'll move on my class because I already got things to do this morning. Let me just talk to him here. They may be having telephone connection this morning. But anyway, I'll continue with my show. Let me do my last part of my show. If they doesn't come on, then that's okay. But at least, you know, we talked with him this morning. I don't know why the team did not want to, can't, they, they, he has a link. He may not be able to come on. Sometimes we have telephone connect and telephone connections and all of that. So these people do this by the phone. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the situation with my people in, on the Buddha Buddha camp this weekend. They want to see if they can have a birthday party. So all the young children can celebrate on this day, you know, give them something to be happy for, despite all the problems and difficulties they're going through. So if he comes on, we'll go on. If not, I'm moving on my show. Thank you very much. Let me take a break. Challenges of Liberia today. There are many challenges we're facing. Right now, I just told you about the people in Boroboron camp. That's a challenge right there. These are our people. These are a, a whole civilization of people that being left out. Hold on, maybe. What's up, my man? What happened? Okay, come on. Uh. I'm waiting for you. You come on, we'll talk. That one of the ladies you got with you there at the show? Okay, he said he's coming on, he was buying data. That's the problem. Every time they come on, they got to buy data or something before they can come on. But anyway, these are some of the challenges we're facing. You know, our children not educated. Our children not going to school. The parents not going to school. Some of the parents don't have jobs. It's hard. It's hard. And these are the challenges we've been facing. These challenges not just happening today. They've been with us from time immemorial. So, let me bring you on. Good morning, hey, my aunt. Aunt. What's up? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Keep that channel. Tell your friends of Ghana. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, we see the pictures you've been putting up. How you doing? Oh, we are so excited there. Again, we are so excited, man. The whole yeah, camp fire on fire now. That's the region. Good. Everybody can hear me. It's just on fire on Saturday. It's a big show on the camp. It's a big show, eh? Yeah. A big show, eh? Big show. Big show. Big show. Big show. Commander, Chief, Brad Day. 
Oh, that's true. <laughs> I can manage you, birthday. After this, okay. after this, is after this birthday. Shout out to you. Aluta. 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 Muya. 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 Hey. Are you here? Yeah. Okay. So everything all right here? Yeah? Oh, everything fine. Everything was small. Then you have to have busy up and down for everything cool today. Everything will be set on Saturday morning by 10 30 on local time. Yeah, I want to thank you, my man, for doing this because it is good for the children in Buddha Buddha camp to feel that somebody is connected with them, you know? You know that? I let, I get the in the morning when they come, the children don't want to speak to you. I saw you on the show later on. They want to say out to you. They are on the camp. Yeah, where are they? Ah, uh, right now, maybe people get ready to come to the show. I don't know yet, but I hope, hopefully I'll see them very soon. I'm really on them. Yeah, okay, but you're doing a good job there. So, um, yeah. Yeah. people complain a few days, not getting you. Uh, yesterday, I put you one missile back for all the program on Saturday. You'll be live. You missile back. How about yeah, you play now? Oh, you got a box? I got a missile box. I got a missile box. I got a missile box for yesterday. The Bluetooth. Oh, that, that's a speaker. Yeah, speaker. I'm going to miss the bar Bluetooth. That's a missile box. Oh, yeah, oh that, that's good. That's good. My man, you do a good job, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, because uh, the way the, the learning situation there, I want to make sure um, if it's possible for me to teach the children from here over there, you know, every now and then. Yeah, children are ready. Yeah, children are ready. Yeah, children are ready. coming in. You see our graduate coming now. You will see them. That's your turn now. That's your turn. That's your turn. That's your turn. Hold on. 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 Hold Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Happy you birthday, for, Papa. You Happy for the birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday. Thank you. How you doing? You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're getting ready on Saturday. We're getting ready on Saturday. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you on Saturday, too, okay? Okay. We love you. We love you, Papa. Okay, we love you too. Bye bye. Let's take care. Daddy, 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 come on, come in. Let's say daddy, daddy, make a talk to you. You understand? Yeah, yeah, you have to be good now. All, all, all of you, all of you going to school? Yes. No, no, no. no. You're not. All of you not going to school? Yes. Oh. Well, I want all of you. I want to see all of you in school one day. Y'all want to go to school? Okay. Okay, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I will Hold see you on Saturday doing a birthday yeah, present. Yeah. I'll okay. see you. You're yeah, welcome. Okay. You're welcome to your children. Okay, I will see you on Saturday. I love you, Grandpa. I love you, Grandpa. Okay, sweetie. You have to take care. Okay, we're going to have to Okay, okay. Yes, you are almost there. The train is normal. What's that putting in? The train is coming. I'm going to you. The train is putting in. Yes, they're putting in. Yeah. 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 Hello. <laughs> okay, Rola. So you take care of yourself, okay? I will see you at 2.30. Okay, I will see you at 2.30. Okay.
Yeah. 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 Okay, I, I will talk to you before Saturday then, okay? Okay, Daddy. You have the pleasure of morning. I'll be with you. Happy you birthday. Too. Okay, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my people on Budaburu camp in uh, Ghana, uh, Saturday they're going to be celebrating my birthday party. And uh, I really want to appreciate uh, Mr. Roland Son Joloka. For, he's the chairman for the Friends of Rodney Chesson on Budaburan camp. And I want to thank him for all the efforts he's put in preparing this thing for the young children. And we look forward to seeing it a big success. Okay. And to you folks over there, I will talk about the challenges we have. You see it. Our children. That's our greatest challenges right now. What would you do with these children, man? Look at the, all the young, young, beautiful children now in school. They're running around. What will become of their lives? What will become of their lives? We got to do something for the children. We got to help them. Even if I to bring them back to Liberia and let them have the opportunity to be put in the schools here. But to be in a place that you can't work, you can't find happiness, nothing, it's hard. It's hard. And that's our challenge. That's our challenge. The greatest challenge we ever had, that our challenge. And I hope we understand the significance of these children being our challenge. I hope you understand it. Because right now we are the leaders and future planners and designers of our country. And we feel we have a world of hurt to deal with in the future. A world of hurt to deal with. So take heed and govern yourselves accordingly. My class is done. Have a good day, and I hope you all had a good time. I'll see you tomorrow.